Now, some civil society organizations and human rights lawyers have accused the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission of abandoning their core responsibility of fighting crime and engaging in political battles. According to the group, the Committee for the Defense of Democracy and Rule of Law at a press conference in Abuja, EFCC's action is counterproductive to the anti-corruption policy of President Tinobu's administration. The High Court of Justice, Lokoja Division, has given a restraining order to EFCC to stay any action, either to arrest, prosecute, persecute the former governor or any of his appointees pending the hearing and determination of the substantive suit originating motion for the enforcement of his fundamental rights. The EFCC may not agree with that order, but it cannot violate it. The court to which their amended charges have been taken to is a court of coordinate jurisdiction, not a superior court. The only option legally available to the commission is to approach a higher court to vacate the subsisting order. This call is coming on the heels of the recent amendment to charges by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission on Thursday, where it named former Governor of Kogi State Yahiabelo as co-conspirator in an alleged corrupt conduct. His name was mentioned during the rearrangement of his nephew, Ali Belo, and a co-defendant for money laundering at the Federal High Court in Abuja. And now to 